Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Geek Press. My name is Luis Gutierrez and today we got two stories coming at you. So the first one being is EA is delaying Need for Speed to focus on Battlefield 6. And the second one is a GTA modder is saying that Rockstar could fix the load time by 70%. And let's jump into the story and talk about EA first. So just like I said, EA is delaying Need for Speed to focus on Battlefield 6. So EA is going to be putting Need for Speed on the back burner this year in order to shift priorities on Battlefield 6. They're putting Criteria games to help support EA DICE on the upcoming Battlefield 6 that's going to drop on the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5. EA officials have confirmed that neither franchise is in any sort of trouble because of this merger, and Criteria games will return on the Need for Speed games once this is all said and done. Laura Mealy, EA's chief studio officer, told Polygon in an interview that the reasoning for this is because of the Coldmaster acquisition and they've already released a racing game this year, and working at home due to COVID-19 has been more difficult. Mealy went on to say in an interview with Polygon, Battlefield is shaping up great. The team has been working incredibly hard. They pushed hard last year, and yes, we've been working from home. She went on to explain how the team is stretched in from working at home as well. It has been confirmed by EA themselves in an investor's call that we're going to be getting a new Battlefield game as well as Need for Speed for the current gen consoles by March 2022. Mealy went on to say that even though EA decided to cut ties with Anthem, the studio isn't hurting in any way. And she went on to say that Battlefield has more urgent situations that need solutions. Mealy went on to say this with the interview with Polygon. Making games is one of the more sophisticated and complicated forms of media that exist. It requires creative energy and connection to the team members. She went on to say that DICE LA is now even working on Battlefield 6, but they're mainly going to be working on the live components of the game. It isn't confirmed what era the game is going to be taking place in, but there are some rumors suggesting that it's going to be returning to modern era, and it's going to be having multiplayer maps that will support up to 128 players. And Mealy went on to say this about the game, that's going to be, quote, a love letter to our fans. And honestly, this sounds really fucking cool. I was just talking about it, like, not too long ago with some of my buddies, that, like, I miss, like, Battlefield and what it used to be. I remember playing Battlefield Bad Company. I remember playing Battlefield 2142 on the PC and, like, the World War II ones on the PC. It used to be really, really fucking good. But it kind of, like, went the way of Call of Duty, I guess you could say where they just started making too many and it just became oversaturated. And um, I'm happy to see that, like, you know, they're they're shifting priorities a little bit and that they had the acquisition with Codemaster. It's like, all right, we got a racing game coming out already. We already had one come out this year. Let's just focus on fucking Battlefield because like I didn't go like really in depth with all the quotes by Polygon, but I highly recommend you read the articles because Polygon did a really great job at it and I didn't really want to like rip off their story completely. But she had a lot of good quotes, and I really recommend you read it for yourself. But it's like, you know, they're in it to win it this year. They want to stand out from the competition. And when you think of the competition, it's it's Call of Duty. It's very clear that the competition is Call of Duty. And it seems like, you know, they're like they're realizing we need to put our we need to get our shit together. Let's let's just do this because Battlefield is a money maker if done right. And I'm happy to see that because if Battlefield and Call of Duty are returning to their glory days. That's awesome. We we pretty much are living in the new generation of consoles and we're going to have like, you know, the the old generation of, you know, like not the old generation, but like the old fame and glory of like Call of Duty and Battlefield. And if both of those games are bangers, why isn't that a good thing? You know, we could just shift in between games and they're both equally good. But let's jump into our next story and talk about the GTA modder. A GTA modder says that Rockstar could fix the loading times by 70% in a day. And let's jump right into that story. A GTA modder has figured out how to reduce the loading time by 70% and claims that Rockstar could fix this in a day. Reported on by PC Gamer, a user who goes by the name of Tost published a blog stating how they could cut the load time from 6 minutes to 50 seconds, which is fucking insane. You can view it for yourself on GitHub, but it's worth mentioning that this is just a proof of concept right now and modding your game online may lead to your account being suspended. But some users have used this and have reported that this has fixed the loading time for them. So Ta states that the reason for the slow load time is because of a CPU bottleneck and a poorly built 10 megabytes JSON files that may contain all the GTA online in-game purchases and upgrades. And when it finds an item, it checks an entire array of 63,000 files and it performs this about 2 billion times, which is why the game load time takes forever. And with the Toss solution, it may drop the load time by 69.4 seconds, but it may not work all the time. Toss even called out Rockstar by saying they could easily fix this and even set up a list of ways of how they could fix this. But as of right now, Rockstar hasn't commented on the matter. And honestly, too, like, you know, what are you going to do about it? You know, it's fucking Rockstar. They're not going to they're going to do their own thing. They march to the beat of their own drum. They they released a fucking trailer of a game. And they're like, yo, it's going to be out in like three fucking years. What are you going to do about it? Nothing jack shit that's what you're gonna do about it right because that, that's just how they are you know they just kind of do their own thing and 
I don't think they're going to really work on the back end of GTA too much, you know? I could be completely wrong. They could, like, work on this entirely and they could fix this. If they could fix this in a day, that would be fucking incredible. But, you know, I play on my Series X and uh, the load time isn't that big of an issue for me. But, it, oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit my mic. But it is what it is, you know? Um, if, if they could fix that, that'd be awesome. But I know, like, GTA, I've said this said this a million times and i'm gonna continue to say this will outlive us all i mean if you look at like the roleplay community on there if you look at like how many people buy shark cards the the longevity of this game is fucking insane but yeah that's it right there and that's all the news we got today and as some of you may have noticed the camera looks a lot more clear now and that's because i actually got my first payout from twitch you know gonna do a little self brag really quick and I'm actually using an old uh, vlog camera that I used to use back in the day when I used to vlog. That's before the world was on fire and we all would stay at home because we all were in fear that we we're all going to die. But yeah, I'm using this camera now and um, got some cores and I do, you know, some nukes and crannies and all the little nerd shit you do to make this work. But I'm happy this camera works because it looks 10 times more crisp. And I'm happy you guys are watching this. Sorry I took a two week hiatus. The whole reason why I did that was because I had to focus on school. And... At the end of the day, I feel like school takes more of a priority than, you know, me talking on the internet about video games. <laughs> but I hope you guys understand that. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, great night, great afternoon. And if you ever need anyone to talk to, you know, I have a Discord link and I'll drop it if you guys request it. But just make sure you get it while it's hot because it does expire within 24 hours. And I know this world could be a crazy fucked up place, but it could be less crazy, less fucked up if you have someone to talk to. And I appreciate all of you guys watching my videos. And... Like I said already, and with all that being said, I hope you have a great day, great night, great afternoon, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care, everyone.